Now joining us is Senator Jackie Lambie. Jackie, good to see you today. So um, we've heard uh, the arguments from both sides already today, Jim Chalmers as well as Jane Hume, when it comes to Labor's um, tax rejig. So where are you at this morning? Are you happy with where it is or do you want the government to go further? Um, we, I have not seen um, the bill in full, obviously, but, you know, what I'm hearing, what I've heard, uh, and from the minister um, himself, um, is that these look pretty good. And I always said, uh, even when I did the housing deal uh, for Tasmania back about four or five years ago, that if the economic circumstances changed, then we would need to revisit these stage three tax cuts. So I applaud the Prime Minister having the courage to do so, but not just that. I just say it is the Australian way. When people are doing it tough below us, then we need to pay whatever we're getting forward where we possibly can to help them out because that's who we are. So I, I just think what they're doing is really, really great. I am concerned about those on Ostudy or Avstudy and also our pensioners, mm. uh, especially the last few years, our pensioners just saying that everybody else seems to be getting breaks out there and they're not. The other thing is, Pete, um, you know, Many years ago, and that's this seems to be this seems to have been really watered down, especially over the last ten years. I've noticed is that when it come to gold card holders, pensioners, um, uh, that sort of thing, they were given cuts on their rates, cuts on their power, and that has decreased over the years. So you know, I just I think there's places that we can hit, but in the meantime, when it comes to local council, they've also decreased what they give them um, out there in funding. So, you know, there is other places that we could hit to give them just a little bit okay. more room to move. So you, so there are amendments that you're pushing for because on that point, the Greens want greater support for those on welfare. So with that sense and everything that you just said in that first answer, do you think they can go further? Well, I haven't heard anything from the Greens, so I wouldn't have a, I wouldn't have a clue uh, what they're trying to push through. I mean, if they want votes, they may want to come to the crossbench. But um, you know, I'm I'm just I'm I'm happy to look at that and maybe uh, you know have a good look. I've got library studies coming back, especially those aged pensioners. I'm terribly, terribly concerned about them. You know, the rate. Uh, rents have gone through the roof, and they just haven't had the increases, mm. and they're not keeping up. And I think they're really paying the price for that. Just your view on news poll this morning, Jackie. There is majority support for the broken pledge, but no bump for the Prime Minister's own approval. How do you read into those results? Um, I think people out out there, um, you know, they, they're feeling they're feeling it out there, whether with or without the stage three tax cuts. Um, and I don't think either major party is getting a bump anywhere. I think people have become very disillusioned in politics, and I guess we're going to see what happens mm. in that next election, whether you get more independence. Well, broken promises uh, whether, don't exactly uh, help. No, broken promises don't don't help. But when you've got the courage to see that things need to be changed because circumstances have changed and the evidence on the table has changed and you've had the courage to change that to help those less fortunate, I don't think that's going to be a whack for the PM. Yeah. We've got Chris Bowen coming up with a press conference uh, next hour on emissions, Jackie. Motoring groups are this morning worried about utes, four-wheel drives and other light vehicles being priced out of the market before there are genuine electric alternatives here. Do you share that concern? Um, well, I, I'm not so sure about that at this point at a time when things are really tough. What I can tell you is there's plenty of Tasmanians that cannot afford a new electric vehicle, and I have to say... Goodness me, if there was something great that come out of COVID, is that people went and bought caravans and took their kids off those bloody screens and took them <laughs> back out and showed them what it was like to live out there and camp, mate. So I just think we have to be really careful. It's all right for people in Canberra. Mm. There's a fair bit of money running up here, and I say that politely. But when right. you're looking at those rural and regional areas and places like Tasmania, they're doing it tough, and I just don't think it's going to be as easy as that. So we're not, we're not going to lose the weekend if these changes go through, Jackie? Uh, the the emissions ones. Yeah. Um, look, I'll, I'll have to have a look at the bill, but um, yeah. seriously, look, I know what the tools and, and them are pushing for, but we have to be realistic about here, and people out there just don't have a lot of money at this point in time, and whether or not that's going to be a disadvantage to them. Okay, Jackie Lambie, we'll leave it there. Talk to you soon.